Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Tristan Barracks here, The Digital Storyteller, and I'm super excited to be with you again for another episode of Cinecut, where we'll be talking about my favorite royalty-free music websites in 2020. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go! Woo! Hey, before we get started, I'd just like to shout out to all of the sponsors that made this video possible. Music Vine, Epidemic Sound, Audio, Filmstro Pro. Without your generosity, this video wouldn't be possible. All of the information that's presented to you is not done in any sort of hierarchy way, uh, you know, one to 10 or anything like that. These are just websites and platforms that I have either used or done some research on that I really think can add value to your creative journey, uh, to your journey as a digital storyteller, and honestly, that are just dope platforms altogether. So let's get started. The first platform that we're gonna talk about is Music Vine. Now this is a pretty new platform that I wasn't familiar with before researching it. And when I got into the nitty gritty of this website, I was very impressed with the quality and the usability of this platform. The first thing I noticed in using Music Vine was that it was definitely designed by people that had creatives in mind. Now, when you get started on the Music Vine website, there are a set of different tiles that are presented to you. These tiles represent the most popular types of projects that creatives produce. So for instance, you'll have a wedding tile, or you'll have a corporate tile, or you have a commercial tile, or you'll have a live event tile. And those are all different types of projects that represents types or genres of music. And the reason why I love this feature is because as a creative, when I'm editing a piece of uh, a video, whether it's for YouTube or for a client, I wanna be able to access the type of music I'm looking for quickly and efficiently. When you're browsing through music, you can see the tracks that actually have various versions or they have the stems available for download as well, which is really, really crafty and easy to use. At the top of the page, you'll see a set of collections. These tiles represent kind of like playlists, if you wanna say, that were pre-designed by the actual Music Vine team, which is pretty crafty. But then above that, there are also um, keywords, and those keywords will then activate, allow you to filter through the 4,000 plus songs that are available on the platform. So they have a lot of different types of filters to help you get through and select the right songs. So they, they have filters like Moon, Mood and style and energy. They have all of these filters are really, really easy to access and they work really well in conjunction with selecting specific genres of music. When you clicked on a specific song, it opened up the song page and below the track was a list of other songs that had the same sort of vibe, feeling and rhythm. This allows you to discover new artists and find tracks quicker. So if you're a content creator like myself, a YouTuber, or you do commercial work or production work, there are a ton of different options on this platform as it pertains to music. And I really, really loved the fact that they had a variety of different sounding music as it pertains to like top 40 popular music that's out there. I gotta give it up to the Music Vine team as they have an amazing platform with great music and amazing artists. Their pressing structure is pretty easy to understand. They have about four or five tiers, varying from as low as, I believe, 18 to $19, all the way up to about $50. The next dope platform that we'll talk about is Audio. Now, Audio is a platform that's very, very new. It only launched earlier this year. Uh, I believe it was a January one. Now, although they are a relatively new platform, they have a lot of things going for them. For instance, the quality of their music is second to none. The team from Audio has really focused in on getting real artists, real recording artists that are signed to labels right now, that are doing concerts and shows, that are refining their craft in, in a real, authentic, organic way. And when I spoke to them, one of the big things that they communicated was their focus in on real artists. And let's be honest, as a creative, one of the things that's amazing about platforms like a music bed per se, is that they do use real artists that that are signed to labels, that are creating 
a really, really high level of quality music. So with Audio right now, although their library is not huge at the moment, they have a, an amazing deal that is really, really worth checking out. For just about $200, you can get a lifetime subscription to this platform that, in my opinion, has some of the best quality music. Just like many of their platforms, Audio gives you all the bells and whistles, like a playlist, favoriting, and providing you with sharing tools so that you can share tracks that you've discovered on the platform with other colleagues or other creatives that you're working on projects with. The team is really excited about releasing a whole bunch of new features on the platform coming later on this quarter. And right now, to be honest with you, to get any sort of subscription for a lifetime for $200, that's really a deal that you, you can't really get anywhere else. The next dope platform that we're gonna talk about is Epidemic Sound. Who? Hey, hey, epidemic, epidemic sound. This is another amazing platform that I've been using now for uh, a little over two years. There are a lot of different types of functions that are built into the platform that just make your life a whole lot easier in terms of finding and selecting the best music for your project. With over 30,000 music tracks, Epidemic Sound is definitely a platform that you should check out. In my opinion, Epidemic Sound is one of the best platforms as it pertains to having that sort of top 40 popular music sound, music that you hear from, you know, all of the top artists like Taylor Swift or Beyonce or, you know, Jay-Z or Drake, that type of sound of music, R&B, hip hop, um, pop, rock, uh, dance music, all of that sort of sound is really the sound of epidemic music. I mean, there are songs that are downloaded from Epidemic Sound that I actually just listen to because I just like how they sound. I, I don't even want to put it into a, a video. I just like the quality of music that they create and produce. The great thing about Epidemic Sound is that they own the rights to all the songs on their website, which means you're never going to have to worry about any sort of royalty fees. But by far, my favorite feature that Epidemic Sound offers is the similar track option. What's the similar track option, Tristan? Let's say for instance, you select a track and you like the sound of that track. When you press that sort of overlapping circles button, it then now scans through all the music that's on Epidemic Sound and it shows you a short list or maybe even a long list of all of the songs that are similar in tone, in beats per minute, in vibe, in genre to that song that you already selected as a song that you really like. In terms of price point, Epidemic Sound is very cost effective for creatives. I believe it's between $15 to $20 for YouTube creators. And if you go up to $50 a month, you can actually have the commercial pro account, which allows you to have things like sound effects, um, allows you to have all of the tracks, but then you can also use those tracks not only for your YouTube channel, but also for commercial projects, which actually is a pretty good deal if you think about it. So as you can see, for that price point and for the amount of media that you get, the value is really, really high when it comes to Epidemic Sound. If you think Epidemic Sound is worth checking out, try out their 30 day trial. The next platform that we're gonna talk about is Filmstro Pro. Now for those of you that don't know what Filmstro Pro is, it is kind of a hybrid platform. You see, it doesn't just give you royalty-free music, it also gives you a software that works with all of the royalty-free music that Filmstro Pro provides to you. Have you ever been in a situation where you love the song that you heard on any sort of royalty-free music website, but you're like, I want to make it more intense at this point. I want to loop it twice at this point. I want to go into the bridge at this point and I want to end it at this point. And maybe I want to make a 10 minute song instead of a two minute song. How do I do that without hacking up that song? Well, this platform might be one that you want to take a look at. And the thing that I really like about this platform is that it allows you to fine tune and score your music. Once you download the program or the plugins and pay for your membership, then you have access to the whole Filmstro Pro library, which is a smaller, but a very robust music library. And the reason why these songs are so robust is because they can be controlled in three major categories, momentum, depth, and power. 
And that's the power of Filmstro Pro, is the fact that it may not have the biggest library, but it's not about having the biggest library. It's about having the right songs, high quality songs that you can score, control, manipulate, and repeat and extend as long as you need to. Right now you can get the Filmstro Pro subscription for 25% off. It is a Valentine's Day offer, and I'm not sure exactly when it's going to end, but I assume that it's not going to last forever. So you may want to take advantage of this as soon as you can. The next dope royalty free music platform that we're going to talk about is Artlist. Now, Artlist is one of those platforms that I used to have, but I don't have anymore. And it's not because it's not a great platform, it just wasn't necessarily the right one for me. Now, the thing that I really love about Artlist is that it is super affordable. It is only $200 per year and it gives you access to all of their music library. The thing that I really like about the Artlist platform is that it really is geared towards creatives. Now, not just any types of creatives, it's really like sort of like the Uber type of like, you know, Chad indie filmmaker type of dude, but it, it's really a great platform for you. If you're looking for that indie sound, you're looking for that sort of guitar, strumming, really moody type of music, uh, instrumental music, then this is the platform for you. The song selections are really great for like things like short films, documentaries, even weddings in certain instances. Now the thing that Artlist does really, really well is that their licensing structure is very, very simple to understand. All you have to do is pay for the subscription for the year and you get access to their entire library. But not only that, you can use these licensed royalty-free songs for any project, whether it's commercial, whether it's wedding, whether it's personal, whether it's YouTube, there are no tiers. And unlike some other music subscription websites, you aren't limited to how long you can use the, the songs for. As long as you were a member, when you downloaded the songs, the songs are licensed to you for a lifetime, which is very different than some other websites that only allow you to have access to that license as long as you're a member within that fiscal year. The next platform that we're gonna talk about is Soundstripe. I love my Soundstripe. I love my Soundstripe. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I know, I'm getting a little bit tired, we're almost there. Soundstripe is one of the few platforms that I still have a membership to. And the reason being is because I feel like they are constantly getting better. I think at the beginning stages of Soundstripe, it was kind of a glorified wedding music website. And then they evolved to kind of having a little bit more of an indie sound. And now they really have a, a plethora of different options. They have, you know, great scored music. They have really cool genre music like hip hop and, and pop and rock. They have really cool piano music and, and synth music. They have several different playlists that are available for you to discover and, and, and jump into. When you're searching for music, I find the searching to be very, very specific and very pointed. Now, just like Artlist, Soundstripe provides you with a unlimited licensing agreement. You can actually use the music for commercial purposes, for weddings, for documentaries, for personal purposes, for church purposes, for whatever you want. And their library is becoming more representative of the types of users that are going on their platform. I, I remember when I first started with Soundstripe, I did a little survey with them and and I just mentioned to them in my survey that there wasn't enough representation of other cultures on their platform. And they contacted me and they asked me additional questions. And I love seeing that from developers and from teams that are trying to create the best platform possible because I can see that they have a passion for this and they really wanna hear from the creatives themselves. So kudos to the Soundstripe team. So Soundstripe has two different tiers to select from. You have the standard tier, which is $11, and you have the premium tier, which is $21. So the standard gives you all the music and all the playlist access but then the premium gives you all of that and it also gives you a 30,000 plus sound effect library as well as allowing you to get pre-released music and some other perks as well. The next royalty free music platform that we're going to talk about is Music Bed. Music Bed. I really do love Music Bed and I had to add it to this list because Music Bed to me is kind of the gold standard in terms of quality and also in some ways affordability. Now the reason why I say somewhat affordable is because if you're just buying a track outright with Musicbed, it's still pretty expensive. You're looking at spending around $50 per track to all the way up to about 200 or $250 a track. And the price for the Musicbed 
subscription starts at about a hundred dollars and it goes up from there all the way up to about three or four hundred dollars i believe the reason why it's important to understand the multiple tiers that music bed has is because you can't just select the cheapest one and go with that one it all depends on how large your audience is and how big your influence is and that will determine what subscription is actually meant for you now that being said music bed has the best quality music out there right now. I mean, they have real artists that are on labels that are just super talented and sound amazing. But one thing that you should be mindful when it comes to their subscription and the, the way that they formulate the licenses, if you're no longer subscribed to their subscription based platform, then you can't actually use that music anymore. The music will be flagged and tagged on YouTube and other platforms. And the reason why I know this is because this has happened to me. If you're interested in any of the platforms that I spoke about in this video, check out the links in the description below. And that ends another epic royalty free music list for 2020. Hey, ho, hey, ho. What are your thoughts? What do you think about it? You like these platforms? Do you not like these platforms? Comment below. Let me know your questions. Let me know your thoughts and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Until the next time, peace.